Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I want to talk about something that's been on my mind pretty much all week and what I think might be coming in the next Blazing Bash. Now, for those of you who don't know, if you've been living under a rock, uh, the Blazing Bash for this month was Renegon Sasuke, which was interesting because we have a lot of Renegon Sasuke's that are viable for PvP, most notably the third anniversary Renegon Sasuke, which I've said this is like a version two of, and we also have the seven star Renegon Sasuke, which isn't a Blazing Bash unit, granted, but he's really amazing for PvP nonetheless, and definitely gives my team a boost. So, with that said, I feel like a unit that we could get next time could be someone like Sage of Six Pass Naruto. And the reason I feel like this is because they went ahead and gave us Sasuke. You're gonna tell me they're not gonna give us Naruto too. I mean, like, when we came to Blazing Fest, we got CM2 Sasuke, and then we got One Tail Naruto, which was pretty cool. Now, although that's Blazing Fest, I feel like Blazing Bash, they could do that for. And, I mean, just because they did it with this Sasuke, I feel like they kind of should do it with Naruto. Uh, but, especially when you take a look at, like, the artwork for these units, you can tell that they're very hand-in-hand -hand, uh, with what it is they're doing. So, like, you can tell that they're both a part of each other's artwork. So, I can definitely see a Naruto one coming out, and then he has, like, Sasuke in the background. I can definitely see that. I can definitely see that. Uh, just because they have the tie-in right there. They usually don't release units with both of them in the artwork without going and releasing another unit that is the other half of it. So I, that's just something they've always done. Uh, ever since we've gotten artwork like that into the game, they've always given us units that are the pair of each other. And it just only makes sense that we would get a Sage of Six Pass Naruto. Now, this Sasuke, he has a lot of things in common with the first one, like I said. Um, this is not the Blazing Bash form, of course, though. Let me go ahead and look at the Blazing Bash form. But he has a lot in common with the other Sasuke that we got for 3rd Anniversary in the fact that his first Jutsu is pretty good for Jutsu ceiling, <laughs> but that's about as far as it goes. Uh, there's no mobilization, which rightfully so. It does have speed reduction, which isn't that big of a deal, uh, and the 90% chance of switch ceiling for 10 turns is a big deal. That is a very big deal. If you get hit by that, you're pretty much done until you get killed, uh, but the Jutsu ceiling isn't that big of a deal nowadays just because a lot of units, him himself even having the Jutsu ceiling resistance, uh, during the third anniversary there wasn't that much resistance towards that as there is now. So that part, not the greatest, but you could definitely see where they were going with it. Now, unlike the first Renegon Sasuke, this man, it doesn't have an AoE ult. So, I mean, that was one way they balanced it. But if they're taking kind of some tips from the first Sasuke to go ahead and form this one, then I feel like it would only make sense that they do the same thing with Naruto. Now, the one thing I will say that is a curveball with this Sasuke is the fact that his field skill is the highest damage out of any boost we've ever seen. So with that said, they could do something extremely crazy with Naruto. Uh, maybe like I would say it would probably be like a speed boost or something I can see them doing But we can go ahead and look at the Sage of Six Pass Naruto that we actually got for third year anniversary And you can go ahead and kind of take some things from that I already kind of have in mind what I would like to get personally for Sage of Six Pass Naruto Because I don't want them to copy and paste it I, Like I think they did a good job with Sasuke um, Even though I say it's version 2 he's still a lot different than the other one Except for the juices ceiling and the fact they're both heart units, 3-6, you know, <laughs> a lot of tie-ins, but at the same time, no. So, when it came to this Naruto, what makes him so amazing, and still to this day, I think he's better than Sasuke, which is unfortunate because I never pulled him, is the fact that his first jutsu is AoE, of course, but it switch seals you, which is not bad. Uh, Sasuke does that, of course, so if they want to put switch sealing onto the Naruto, they could, but that's not what I want. Uh, what is big is reducing their chakra by 2. That's something this Naruto does, which is crazy, because you still can't protect yourself against that. You can protect against chakra sealed, but not getting your chakra stolen. Now, they could take that and put that on Naruto if they want, but what I personally want for Naruto um, is either one of these, so either switch sealing or sealing chakra. I think they should take one of them like they did with Sasuke, but I want to see movement restriction. I feel like it would be nice to get a really good unit that does movement restriction. Um, and if it's anything like the Sasuke, his range would hit the whole map, which would be incredible. So you'd be really stuck, but if they do go that route, I don't think they should give you switch sealing because if you get switch sealed and movement restricted, you're pretty much screwed. Uh, you're pretty much screwed. The only way you can really counter the movement restriction is having either resistance or just being able to switch out to a unit that isn't restricted. So if they go that route, maybe take away chakra, but I don't know. I feel like that would be a little OP, uh, but I, I would like to see movement restriction. Honestly, that's the only thing I could think of because like slip damage isn't going to do anything uh, for a field skill. I mean, if they want to go ahead and give us another crazy field skill, 
I don't think they should give us damage. I don't know if they're going to make it a body type like this or not. But maybe just give us damage reduction then because the Sasuke is packing damage. Give Naruto damage reduction. Something like that. I think that would be good. Um, I'm not really sure about that. But same with this ult. I think they did a good job with Sasuke. Now I can't say for sure if they would give us an AoE ult for Naruto. I kind of hope that they wouldn't. I feel like it's more balanced that way when you don't get an AoE ult. Uh, especially because I'm assuming it would be the same type of ult that we got for Sasuke where it has Sakura-chan in there. So yeah, it's kind of weird. Like You could tell that this was a unit that probably should have came out at the same time as Sasuke, but they usually don't drop dual Blazing Bash banners unless they're doing it for an event. But it's just weird that they gave us a Sasuke that has Naruto in the artwork, uh, and then he's just really crazy and over the top, but there's no Naruto. So I think for that reason alone, we'll definitely be getting one. The only problem is that I don't like is the fact that this is kind of the third Sage of Six Pass unit that we've already gotten during the fourth year. We had this Madara, which was really amazing, and then we also have Sasuke now. Now, that you could say that's a good or a bad thing, but honestly, I would like to get something other than Naruto, but I feel like they kind of have to. Like, like just same like I said with CM2 Sasuke. They gave us CM2 Sasuke, and then a month later, they gave us One Tail Naruto. I feel like it's just a trend that you have to see. Uh, so I, I don't know, I personally would like to get something other than Sage of Six Pass units because we already had Madara and Sasuke like I said. But is it likely? Yeah, I think it's pretty likely. So hopefully they give us something cool. I mean, like I said, they could take some inspiration from the other Nards. I mean, we already have a Nard so that you could also use. But he's not in the Sage of Six Pass form, but I mean, this one, you don't really see this Naruto too often in PvP. Sasuke is definitely the one that takes the cake, which is kind of why I didn't want another Rinnegan Sasuke, because this one's pretty amazing too. Uh, even though he wasn't made for PvP, he, you can definitely see that he does excel in it. So, I don't really know, but a Sage of Six Pass Naruto, I feel like wouldn't be the worst thing in the world for us to go ahead and get. And following up after Sasuke would be a nice tie-in. I hope they don't give us another Kage or anything, <laughs> because we already have a Kage. But let me know what you guys think. Would you be down to get a Sage of Six Pass Naruto? Did you like the Sasuke? I know a lot of people said that they were going to summon for him, because he is pretty crazy. Like, if you saw my PvP video yesterday, then you know this Sasuke is everywhere, man. And I think it's mostly because of the boost that he has for the speed, but he's literally everywhere. Like, if you look at the tiers, you'll see that this man is just on every single team right here. So, yeah, definitely getting a Naruto would be pretty nice, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see. So, yeah, that's going to take care of it. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.